Hadley owned a corn mill in Gloucester, England. The mill used a steam engine manufactured by W. Joyce & Company, which we'll call Joyce & Company for short, to grind corn into flour and cornmeal. One day, the engine's crankshaft broke. To get the engine running again, Hadley needed to ship the broken shaft back to Joyce & Company so an exact replica of the part could be made as a replacement. Hadley contacted Pickford & Company, or Pickford, a common carrier owned by Baxendale. Hadley paid Pickford to ship the broken shaft to Joyce & Company as quickly as possible. Pickford promised to deliver the part by the next day. However, due to Pickford's negligence, the delivery took much longer than promised. As a result, the mill remained closed for five additional days. Hadley sued Baxendale for breach of contract and asked the court for damages, including his lost profits from the five days the mill was closed. At trial, Baxendale argued that the lost profits were unrelated to the shipping contract and shouldn't be awarded. The jury sided with Hadley, and the lower court ordered Baxendale to pay for the mill's lost profits. Baxendale argued that the lower court judge's instructions misdirected the jury, leading the jurors to reach an unjust conclusion. So Baxendale asked for a new trial. The Court of Exchequer Chamber agreed to review the case. 